the big enablers for us have has have really been the collaborations we've built with governments and also with the military. So you could argue that we have had very unlikely partners on our social green <laughs> kind of journey. Uh, and that's been what is considered quite a conservative side of government and politics. But because we work in the maritime industry, we work at veterans, we create jobs, and it is a social business, that has meant that, that it sort of changed the narrative compared to, uh, let's say, uh, more traditional environmental organizations. Now, because the relationship with government has actually meant being contracted directly by government, it has meant that we have generated a revenue that has actually now been enough for two Dutch banks to finance us. And for example, this ship, we're now building a new ship, which is a big offshore uh, workship, a sailing vessel, and it's entirely financed by a bank. Now, I think that's really important because it validates that there is an actual working business model there. So in terms of scalability and replication, yes, it is about how do you you know, and we now work in the UK and in France and in Spain, and we're negotiating with the government and exactly the same, you could say, intrinsic motivations that made the Dutch government excited about this model. We see exactly the same triggers now. Uh, you know, we hit the same buttons for those other governments because they also have problems attracting young people. They have a problem with youth unemployment. They want to support veterans and, and have that capacity at sea. Um, so we're now scaling to these other countries, essentially seeking uh, yeah, franchisees, so other entrepreneurs who are willing to take on this model, and we can train and support them and help them raise financing to implement a C-Ranger service in their own country. And that's how we foresee this scaling. Uh, 